Good morning all. Today I'm going to set myself the challenge of firing up one of these little OLED displays. Uh, these are the, well I think they're 32 by 128 aren't they? Yeah, so this is the one I bought. I think I bought two. Uh, 0.91 inch I2C OLED. Uh, yeah, 128 by 32 and they're 3.3 volt or 5 volt allegedly. Uh, $3.31 each came from Chivazu. And uh, today I thought I'd use this genuine Arduino Uno, which I bought uh, some time back. But yeah, I think that's the genuine article. Uh, but I've just realized that there's going to be a bit of a problem with this. And it, that's it, that is that this doesn't have the male header pins. It only has these female header pins. And that's really quite inconvenient. I really like the uh, the extra row of male pins because I think I've only got female to female uh, DuPont cables. Yeah, I keep them in this uh, after eight tin. And uh, yeah, I only have female to females. I never bought any female to males because, well, I've, I've never really used them. But what I can do, I suppose, is use these uh, little pin type connectors to poke into one end of these and uh, convert them from, oh, is that going to fit? Yeah, kind of, it's not very good, but convert them from uh, female female to female male. Ugh, see how I get on. Right, on the back it shows SDA and SCL. So SDA I'm going to use yellow because D is the fourth letter of the alphabet and yellow is four in resistor color codes. Uh, that's actually fairly irrelevant, but if you use A4 and A5, you can remember that uh, SDA is A4 because of the fourth letter of the alphabet thing. But anyway, that's my I squared C wires. Uh, now I need two more wires for VCC and ground. So red into 5 volts. These displays uh, claim to be 5 volt compatible. And brown into ground, so that's fine. Um, yes, I think that device there, which is marked 662K, is a 3.3 volt regulator. So that'll take 3.3 volts down to, uh, 5 volts down to 3.3. And then I'm presuming that the uh, chip in here, the display chip, has 5 volt tolerant uh, inputs. Yes, um, here we are. SMD 662K was my search. And we have an image here which shows uh, V in as 5 volts and V out as 3.3. So I'm pretty sure that's a 3.3 volt regulator. Right, so that's a little OLED hooked up. Uh, now we need a USB printer style cable, type B, I think that's called, because the old uh, Uno had that connector. So let's plug that in and uh, see what happens. Oh, there's actually something well, there was something written on there. No idea what it was. Looked a bit random. Well, I've just pressed the reset button and it actually says, Hello Wally. So that must have been, uh, there must have been an OLED program in this Arduino. It's slightly off the, uh, off the screen. It's a bit high, but that's pretty amazing. I hadn't realized that that was still in here. Well, that was easy. So I've run up Arduino. Uh, now I'm not going to upgrade it because Alan Powell was saying there are problems with UCG lib in Arduino 1.8 something or other. So I think I'll just stick with 1.612 for the moment. That seems to be what I've got. Uh, I want to use U8G2 this time. So examples uh, right down the bottom this will be probably off the screen, U8G2, uh, full buffer, full buffer is it, hello world, let's give that a try. Now in here um, we've got these constructors and this is the constructor list but it doesn't seem to have 128 by 32 sort of generic I squared C um, in the list. I think what Ollie has done, Ollie Kraus, who wrote this, he's cut it down and he's now saying the complete list is available here. So, oh, that seems to have taken me through to there. Let's see how that does. 
And that brings you to here, um, the constructor reference section of the README. I think it's the README on GitHub. Um, so we've got SSD 1305, I assume that's the chip. 128 by 32, no name, this is a no name. Uh, we've got SBI, software SBI, hardware SBI, 6800, 8080, it's none of those. Another section on SSD 1305, 128 by 32, no name. And here we have software I2C and hardware I2C. Now that's what I want. I want hardware I2C. Now why would you need to specify uh, reset clock and data? Well, they're optional, it looks like, because they're in brackets. So it looks like I only need to specify the rotation. So I think I'm going to use that one. Now, in these um, descriptors, constructors they are, uh, we've got hardware I squared C, but we've got three types, 1, 2, and F. So I need to know what that means. Well, further up here, uh, where is it? Here we are, buffer size, 1, 2, and F. And this is about how much memory it uses in the microcontroller. Uh, only one page of the display memory is stored in the microcontroller. Maintains two pages in the microcontroller. Well, let's go for one and just see what happens. And uh, it seems that the rotation I need is uh, U8G2 underscore R0. So that should be it. Now, does that need a semicolon? Probably does. Right, I've just tried compiling that, and that's not compiling, and it's saying something about expected constructor, destructor, or something or other. I've got a feeling there's uh, a requirement in here for the reset line. Uh, I think you have to specify the reset line, or say reset none. Let me just bring up examples, uh, U8G2 again. I'll go for a different one this time, because I'm actually editing the Hello World, and I'll have to do a save as in a moment. Um, because I think in here are instructions on how to do this reset thing. Well, now I'm struggling because uh, I'm getting this error, U8G2, no name, one, hardware I square C, does not name a type. That's uh, my constructor call. I put in the U8G2, which I had previously missed out. I put in this reset pin. I don't think I actually need that, but what's it mean does not name a type? Oh, C drives me mad. I don't even know what that means. So how do I fix it? So here it is. I've stripped it right down to its bare bones. I'm including Arduino H. I'm including U8G2 lib H, SPI and wire. They were in in-def statements. I've taken them out. And uh, this U8G2 underscore SSD 1305 underscore 128X32 underscore no name underscore F underscore HW underscore I squared C. Here's my uh, U8G2. That's the name of my object, I guess. Here's the rotation. But it doesn't name a type. Type of what? What type? What does it want? What kind of type? Type. I don't understand. And I've searched. For people uh, having does not name a type in relation to U8G2, and of course there's nothing. I've searched generally for does not name a type, and then there's the the most incredibly long-winded explanations of objects and constructor calls and all that stuff. I can't read all that and understand all that. So I'm stuck. This doesn't name a type. Why doesn't it name a type? Right, well now I've just changed that to uh, SSD 1306, 128 by 64. That names a type, or at least it doesn't not name a type. So how come SSD 1306, 128, 64 doesn't not name a type, whereas SSD 1305, 128, 32 does not name a type? I have no hair left. So here's my library manager and uh, U8G2 by Oliver version 252 installed. There doesn't seem to be anything about updating it. So it looks like U8G2 is up to date. U8G lib is also up to date. 
I've used UHG lib before and it's always worked fine. I just fancied using something different today, UHG2. Well, I'm just going to plow on uh, using this 1306 128 by 64 and see if that works. And uh, well, that's worked, but there's something not quite right with it because the H has no bar. Uh, the top of the D on world and possibly even the top of the W seems to be cut off. Let's have a closer look at that. Uh, so something's not quite right. Certainly the H of hello is not quite right. And uh, adjusting the vertical position doesn't seem to affect that. It's almost as though, as though it's only using 8 pixels high. How many pixels is that W using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 possibly. It's only using 7 pixels in height. That doesn't look quite right to me. So I thought it might be a font issue. So I've put a different font in. I've picked uh, font crocs 4hb underscore tr, whatever that is. And that's given me this, uh, but it's all a bit squished. You can see there the tops of the O's are all flattened, so it still only appears to be using 7 pixels in height. Now I'm just wondering whether that's something to do with the way that the chip in here, if it's not an SSD 1306, is squishing this up. But I can't find a constructor, uh, a constructor for the 128 by 32 because it doesn't name a type. Right, so now I've changed it to uh, SSD 1306, 128 by 32, Univision, instead of no name. Ah, now that's looking better. So maybe this is a Univision. Maybe it isn't a no name, but certainly that looks fine. Uh, let's try a different font. So this time I've gone for uh, Logisoso32 underscore TR. I haven't quite worked out what TR is yet. And uh, yeah, that one looks pretty good. I don't even need the magnifying glass for that. Uh, it's a full 32 pixel high font. So I'm using the full 32 pixels of the display. I was hoping to show that. Maybe I can with a torch. Yeah, you can just about see the um, pixel grid there and it is using the full height of that. So that looks good. I mean, obviously the words have dropped off to the right because the font characters are so big. But yeah, finally, I think I've got there. So it looks like this is a Univision, not a no name in uh, U8G2 parlance. But uh, yeah, I think that's the first step to um, getting my Ameter project done. The OLED seems to be uh, running nicely. I fancied using U8G2 because I've used U8G lib in the past and Ollie has obviously done a lot of work on this G2 version. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So when I get the INA219 uh, Ameter unit powered up, I can combine the two and uh, try and get back to this uh, 18650 different capacity cells in parallel project. But I think that's enough for today. So. Uh, Cheerio.